Hi everybody, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying Colin McLeod's Simply Red, it's another mullet pattern. Obviously very bright attractor style sort of shrimp pattern and great. this will work for other species as well, bass, sea trout will eat this, um, you know, any of the canestrian species. I'm sure if you waited that you would catch a grayling on it as well. As always, I'll put materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel and get access to the monthly fly tying classes, the members only content, as well as being entered into the giveaways. You can also subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos, like the video, share it, watch all the way to the end, that all helps. So I've got my hook my vice, this is a Kamazan B100G, size 12 and I've run on some Uni 8O and fluorescent fire orange You can tie it with red thread as well but I like to sort of boost the use the fire orange to boost the, the brightness Tying in for my tag and my tail some glow bright number 4 floss and I've got 10 strands leave that tag quite long it's a bit long there but you can cut it back um, if you feel it's too too big in the when you're fishing you can always cut it back bring my thread back up and then we'll catch in some fine gold wire from my rib Draw that in and come back. I'm tying this on my side and then we're ready for the, sh the shell back. And this is Hen's shell back, it's red, one side's pearly, oops, and the other side's like a flat red. So I want the pearly side out. So obviously it'll be tying the red side up. I'm just going to cut it to a point so it's easier to tie in. And I'll tie that back. Now you'll notice I've come up between each material, I've come back up here, tying at the length of the body. And Um, I've done it this way just to get that wee bit extra build with each layer rather than catching at the back so as you come back just see how that's sitting make sure it's on top make sure you're right back to that tail tie in you don't want any spaces Now we're ready for the body, and this is UV red ice stub. Um, so it's fluorescent and it's supposedly UV reflective. It's got the kind of bluey flash. Um, this is really nice and bright, uh, and the colour does really pop when it's in natural sunlight. You could also use red spectra dubbing if you want. So. Get the dubbing on, just build up my body, a wee kind of chunky shrimp. It's nothing fancy. Make sure you've got everything on. Come up towards the eye, leave no more than an eye length clear. Then you can fold this forward, and then obviously, because you tied it without pelly side down, that's now on top. Uh, if you see it, if you feel that it's not trying to sit for you, just squeeze it and press it, and it will force the, the shape into it, and it will kind of hug the, it will hug the form of your fly a wee bit better. Pinch it in, 
make sure you're nice and straight on top that looks good to me and you can see there it's already I think it's the heat of your finger and the pressure it sort of makes it sort of want to take that form so I'll take my first wrap of the wire at the back there and that will kind of slightly flare that tail and it lets me come under the dubbing and get a nice easy start on the shell back and then just take your rib up and make sure it doesn't creep when you wind I'm taking five up the body which is what I like I've said before if you want six then put six on with these wee shrimps it's, up to, it's entirely up to you there we go get that tied on nice and secure sort of build a bit of a head just to start it bend and break that away and come in trim that nice and close set that aside in the hackle plier for the next fly and I'm just going to build up my head up finish and again that floss there just to sort of spread it and then I'm going to come in with my dubbing needle and get this picked out right along the bottom give me some wee legs and a bit of movement in the fly You can rub it with Velcro, but I think you get a. I think you kind of free the fibres better with the needle, actually. And I'll just sort of stroke everything down. Varnish the head. And take the varnish right along the back. Get a nice good coat. If you want, you can give it two, and this just protects that foil from the salt water. Makes it keep its shine much much better. Keep the flash there. You know you you're using the flash back for a reason, so you don't want it to go dull. And the varnish really does help with that. The last thing to do is just check the eyes clear. Take away any excess from the head and then you're done. So there you go. Hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below. We'll see you for another video. Take lines guys. Bye.